So apparently I shot the whole thing and uh, it wasn't recording. Hi, I'm Kai and today we're going to discuss how to shoot suicide in film. Before we start, I would like to make it clear that this topic can be triggering for some of you and I do not mean to take it lightly at all. In the link below, you'll find some links for therapists in India and I hope that helps. I will try to find some other uh, links as well and put them, in, put them down below. So suicide has been portrayed in many ways throughout film history and some of the ones that I can remember off the top of my head would be how 13 reasons why I had a very cover representation of suicide and uh, the Shawshank Redemption had that very uh, usual legs flailing around shot similar to how uh, Three Idiots has it. So in class 12 there was a film competition for which we chose the topic of depression and since we didn't consider ourselves equipped enough to show the conversation around saving somebody from suicide effectively, we did not want to do that and make a mess of it, rather we wanted to go for a much more somber ending. Let's look at the scene very quickly and then we'll discuss how we went about making it. So even before we went about planning the scene, there were some shots that were in my mind already on and I knew how I wanted them. So the scene where the lead climbed on top of a ledge, we shot that on our terrace and we only shot that knowing that there was a ledge right after that at a very small height difference. We would not have shot it if there was any risk at all to the lead. So the scene right after that is one of my favourite ones because I had already imagined it days before and I knew how I wanted it with the telephone in the foreground and the background being the, way, uh, being the window. The way we went about that shot was we asked the lead to get two pairs of dresses on the day of the shoot and since she was in a school uniform it was easy to get that. The second pair we put onto a pillow and uh, once we had that we set the camera up the way we wanted it and then we had somebody on the terrace and somebody uh, downstairs and we kept throwing that pillow for 5 or 6 times I guess and it was after 5 or 6 times that we got the shot which had the pillow properly in that window. Uh, we had the composition that we wanted. So that is how we went about shooting it. The last and final shot was just a pure stroke of luck. Uh, we just left the camera up on the terrace and for a minute or two and we were like, let's see what happens. And the crow flew by and we were like, we have a final shot. Other than that, the way 13 Reasons Why it does it is with a prosthetic hand, I believe. The other shots where you have the legs flailing around is pretty simple as well. You just have the lead hang on to something and then have their legs flail around. If there's any other shots that I've missed, uh, post them in the comments below and we'll discuss how they went about making it. So if you like this video, subscribe, share, you know the drill. And I'm still learning and I hope to take you along with me on this journey. I'm Kai and this is Kai Tries.